Do you want to learn halacha? Come learn shachut halacha. Hey everybody out there in Zoom and YouTube land, welcome to Color War 2020. I of course am your Rosh Moshaba. Adi Krohn. Yes, at one point I was only a lowly Beit Midrash member, but I worked my way up to Rosh Eda. And here I am, finally, in all my glory, and finally your beloved Rosh Mosh. So welcome to Color War. Let's hear you cheer. <coughs> Guys, that cheering is great. What is that I hear? Ah, this is cool. Ah, this is cool. Oh no, please. Hey, hey, that's right. What, what are you doing? <laughs> ah, Alicia. Hey. Whoa. Uh, wasn't expecting you there. What? Were you tied to someone? Was that, what was? What was uh, that no, mean? I was just practicing for the um, the shot shoot. Yeah. I, I I I'm pretty sure someone was cheering Adi. Adi's cool. I don't know. No. Uh, what, what? Oh, <laughs> you misheard. They what they were saying. But well, no. What I was saying was um, no food. No food. What? what? No, because I was ta I was teaching the halacha about um, you're not allowed to eat. Um, until after you hear Kiddush. So once you hear Kiddush, then you can eat, but you can't eat before. So I was saying no food, because there was not Kiddush, so there's no food. But well, why can't you eat before Kiddush? That's, oh, well that's, that's because, because the Chachamim wanted to make sure that we would fulfill the Mitzvah of Kiddush, Friday night and Shabbat morning. So he just said, don't eat before Kiddush, because they were afraid if you if you ate first, you'd forget about the Mitzvah. So they wanted to make sure. That right, I guess that makes sense. All right. Yeah. All right, All right, bye. Bye, Alicia. That was close. Okay, keep cheering, guys. Ah, this is cool. Ah, this is cool. Hey, uh, what's that shell that? Oh, uh, Pterium, guys. Whatever. Yeah, you know, keep it in humble. Pretty cool, Rosh Bach, I'm engaged. Just gotta be humble, though. So, I say Pterium after meetings. That's how it goes. Hey, uh, how you doing? You want some yummy Kiddush food? All right, for sure, no problem, all right. Enjoy, enjoy that. Uh, hey, Ravadi, what's up? Hey, Kate. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, great to see you. Hey. Uh, uh, I've just been serving Kiddush outside with everyone. Uh, what are you doing inside the Chana Rokal? It's not like you're talking to someone. Is anyone else here? No, uh, no one else is here. I was, um, I was, uh, yeah, I was preparing some shoot lines. Speaking of which, what are you planning on having for Kiddush? Uh, I'm not usually very hungry. I'll probably just have an apple. No, no, Gabe. No, that's not good. You know, Kiddush it has to be b'makom suda, meaning with a meal, and the minimum meal is a kazai of mizono, like cake or cookies, okay, or pretzels or or, or, or or noodles. You can't just have an apple. That's not going to be enough, Gabe. It's not going to be enough. No big deal. I'll grab a mizono. Don't worry. How does that guy stay so calm? I have to work on that. Ah, uh, just another day in the life of the director of Machanes Stone. Uh, just sitting here with my Motorola that connects me to the Sheriff's Department of Warren County. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, you want to thank me for the Indoor World program? It's been amazing. Oh, you're welcome. It's been our pl Oh, no, no, you're too kind. It's too- you're too kind. No, really, really. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. What are you doing? I was just, um... Uh... What- why are you sitting in my chair? What- were you talking to yourself? Kind of. What? You've been, you've been doing it all day. You've been sitting on your Motorola. That was you this whole time? Oh, yeah. uh, what What do you do here anyway? What do you... What, what would you say you do here? I, I, I work on the shot shoot. Oh, okay. Is that... That's your big contribution? Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's important. I mean, sometimes I think it's not so important. So maybe that's why I pretend that I have, like, other jobs that maybe are more important here. But I, I kind of do think it's like an important thing to do. Are you crying? Well, a little. Stop, no, don't cry. Stop crying. What, just get, I, get out of my chair. I got work to do. You want, you want to help me with the shot shoot? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, sorry, of course. I'm happy to help you with the shot okay, shoot. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, okay, so you what? say, I'm going to take my Wait, food. Wait, right now? Yeah, yeah, just say it. Okay, fine. I'm okay. going to take my food from the back of the meatball, but I'm only going to eat it in the indoor bacon essence. I'm going to take my food from the back of the meatball, but I'm only going to eat it in the indoor bacon asset. What? Well, what are you doing, Yaakov? That's really dumb. Don't you know that there's a halacha called Kiddush B'makom Suda, where the place where you make Kiddush is where you have to eat the food. You can't, like, leave and go to a different place. I'm really surprised you didn't know that, <laughs> dummy. What? Get out of here. What? What? I, you told me to say that. 
Yeah, I did. Well, thanks anyways, yeah, I mean, Mr. Director. Hey everybody, let's do it. just a quick recap. We learned about Kiddush B'Makom Suda today. So the first thing we learned was that uh, one is not permitted to eat until after Kiddush. This is a special takana from the Chachamim to ensure that everyone says Kiddush and doesn't forget about saying Kiddush. This is true Friday night. It's also true Shabbat afternoon after davening that you cannot eat before making Kiddush. We also learned about Kiddush B'Makom Suda. The Kiddush has to be in the place of a meal. So you have to have a Kezayit of Mizonot to accompany the Kiddush, otherwise the Kiddush is not actually valid. And the last thing we learned was that the meal part has to be eaten relatively close to where you are making Kiddush, basically the same place. But you're not allowed to make Kiddush in one place and then walk away, go somewhere very, very different in order to eat the requisite Mizonot. Hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Shabbat and a fantastic rest of the summer. Shabbat Shabbat Shabbat